Hey gang, uh, it's good to see you this morning and I hope that uh, you're having a great day. And in fact, I hope you're having a great week. Uh, we started a, a water woes project here on seventh grade at Jefferson Middle School. And I'm really excited about the process uh, that's going on right now. Our students, you guys are doing some digging in. You're looking at some research. Now, let me encourage you. I know you're working on that hyperdoc and I know that some of it is a little bit uh, difficult because well, we've had some blockage and stuff from our website here, but hang in there, keep working and keep digging into that process. Now, let me encourage you to do this. Look on your own at some other resources. Look on your own on some other places where you can uh, find some sources because I think that's gonna be important as you pull this project together. Now, remember, you are being assigned a different perspective to attack this, and, and so you can notice there's some things on your rubric. You need to go back and look at that. You either have no water or you have water, or you have access to non-drinking water, you are an awareness campaign, meaning that you are bringing attention to the things that are going on, what you can do, how you can solve things, or you're a United Nations committee negotiating for water. And if you're that, you needed to study just a little bit about what the UN does, how it operates, and how it doesn't operate, because I was hearing some things yesterday that wasn't quite what we thought it would be. I'm going to check in with you, maybe interview a few of you today. So there's a few that'll pop onto this uh, video and this episode of Doc's Thoughts. But so far, you're doing a great job. I'm proud of you. You're going to solve some of the world's water problems. And in fact, I want to encourage you because I think you're going to solve some of the greatest problems in the world. The greatest minds are in this class right now. All right, so Heidi and Amanda have questions. So what's the questions you have? Okay, my question is, on the technology part, can we make a cartoon video? Oh, I think that'd be excellent. That's a great idea. Wow. So would you use, uh, what would you use? Well, we're gonna use Powtoon and, and like make little animations. Oh, I think it's a great idea. Okay, what was, your, what was your With question? With iMovie, I thought we are gonna use iMovie. Like a commercial, yeah, like not a commercial, but like start campaign. Yeah, persuade them. Could we make an app? Could you be, oh, I love it. I love the app idea, and I really love the commercial idea. So that is exactly where you need to go. And you, if you need to, you can go to the media center. Miss Powell's would love to have you in there, and you can shoot that here. Or we can use our cameras, and we can go outside, and we can take care of it out there. So we can do all sorts of different things. So beautiful idea, brilliant. I like What's it. What's up, Joey B? All right, so checking in with the group. They've got, um, they have water. And so what are we thinking about doing? Selling um, Selling it. Selling water to countries that don't have water. So y'all are going to probably make bank, right? Right. Make okay. money. All right. Make, make money. money. There we go. I like it. Make All right. Money. Sounds good. All right. So what was Grace and Isabel thinking? We were going to keep 50 of it. Give 25% to the... Other group. Okay. And then give twenty five percent to the surrounding countries. I like it. So everybody don't do water. Okay, that sounds good. All right, thanks. Beg for water because you have no water. We haven't made up a solution. We are poor people. We have no water. That's probably true. So okay. There's a few. There's a few countries in the world that are like that. We've moved. We've moved to a different country that has water. <laughs> okay, that might work. Never know. Um, we are the water awareness people. We're making sure that everyone you know, is like knows that people don't have water. Pretty sure that they don't have water. Yeah, exactly. Everyone over there, they're the United Nations or something. And they're trying to figure out a way to make it so that everyone has enough water. Those people have water. Dirty water. Dirty water. They have water, but it's dirty. So they can't use it to drink it. Hey, Same thing, basically. Same thing. Dirty water. They can't use yeah. it. Okay. Or it's all on it. We're just, you know, here to make sure that they know. Like, like kind of like a little bit. I saw that. We make this song. Good job. That's phase three. Perfect. Phase three, those are the questions that go with the article I assign on Facebook. Now you understand? 
Got it. And y'all are going to be polluted water? Yeah. Like, you're going to be dirty water. So now, what do you have to do? I mean, have you got a solution already, maybe? Uh, no. No solution. You're in a water crisis? Yeah. True. We will, we will kill for clean water. <laughs> okay. Well, our idea was to like um, find what the countries without water have a lot of and like what research they do have mm -hmm. and see if um, countries with water will like maybe like trade or something like they can give some of their excess, the countries without water can use some of their excess stuff for the other countries with water so both countries are benefiting. Okay, so a little barter system going on. Interesting.